Alright, welcome back to Jump Half. So, Riverside Camping Site. Um, let's just go back in here. I think I took a look at this earlier, but... I just want to remind myself of what's actually in here for a moment. Oh yeah, it's the gambling game. Womp. Whatever. Let's just grab my real reward, which is the power-ups, and leave. I'm not sure that I checked out... Oops, that's the wrong button. Always good to save, though. Even if I just started. X-Fix. I don't remember if I even checked this one. Lol, Yoshi. Guess it would make sense that it'd be someone from the first jump. Uh, Storm Pyro was healing caverns. I think I saw that one before. Lol, Yoshi and Chipri's Sunset. Riverside Camping Site is by Lazy. And this is... Okay, I already completed this one. VLTC <laughs> Media Player. Um, Destiny of Grassland by Yoshi. I'm already wanting to see what this level is. Rex Tap. I haven't heard of him. There's a lot of people I haven't heard of in this in the collab. Alright, so... <laughs> I see a mushroom. I feel like I'm not going to get a lot of the jokes because I don't really use VLDC Media Player that often. But... I guess I can... That didn't work like I was hoping. Whatever. That did. <laughs> Can't go in there. Seems like a pretty straightforward romp level so far. Oh, is that like the... supposed to be the video? <laughs> okay. I, I, I get it now. We got a Goomba down there. Let's just make a good bounce. Oot! <laughs> I was thinking for a second like I was wondering what that was, but see, so yeah, this is like a video that I have to actually be part of. And considering, oh, gotta jump on this guy. And considering this is eventually going to be turned into an actual video, it's kind of really meta here. So it seems, since... <coughs> given the gimmick of how we actually get power-ups in this level, um, oh, I got a rush. That didn't work quite right. Given the gimmicks of how I get power-ups in this level... I, uh, I, I keep talking and distracting myself pretty much. At least I has still had iframes there, so I was able to just get to the Koopas easily, but... Yeah, that's kind of a nasty jump if you haven't had the, <coughs> the psychic powers to... Uh, do a duck jump beforehand when jumping onto those Goombas, but it's still possible either way. I'm not even sure why I'm checking all these pipes. There's no way random pipe, white pipe number seven is going to have anything in it, but whatever. Well, that didn't kill him. I'm surprised. I've got a bit of a sore throat today, so... Okay, I gotta jump on this. Didn't do a very good job of it, but I did just good enough of a job. Alright, I gotta try to move fast because it might be necessary to get one of these coins, but apparently not. I just shouldn't have gone up there. guys go. And I died right at the end. That's unfortunate. But oh well. That level did not go super well. Though one of those deaths was just because I did not map the buttons on my controller correctly. And I tried to spin jump and I was like, Luigi was just like, no, I'm just gonna walk into that enemy instead. Alright, let's, let's double back. I'm gonna do a breadth first search rather than a depth first search. And find the Rhineland by FT. So 
You know this is going to be a scary level. At least for World 2, it's going to be a scary level. Point of advice, blue coin means a dino rhino will fall there. Do be hasty. Also, you can slide kill dinos. So I'd better get out of here then. Goodbye. Die. Oh, that didn't work. Slide kill them, but you can't throw blue blocks at them. So, the running joke is that uh, in the original jump, there was a level called... Uh, well, I don't know if it's actually called Komei's Trap, but it, it referenced something to do with that. And the running gag was that you shouldn't be hasty because... Oh, okay. Well, I did not react correctly to that. The running gag was that you shouldn't be hasty because you'll fall into the trap and you'll die. But with this level, you actually do want to be hasty. Except there, I was a little bit too hasty and ended up running into a dino that I fell a little bit faster than the other ones, which I didn't see coming, to be honest. I'm not sure why I stopped there. At least I won't die trying to get my power up this time. Alright. Jump, hold the buttons so that I can just run off here and it's easy. So yeah, I did not see it coming that the height of the coins would represent how fast the dinos fall from that spot. Whatever. Just be slow. Oh, well that doesn't work. And that's on a layer, <laughs> so the coin falls as well. That's really weird, actually, but... My general instinct is to pause for just a moment before trying to figure out... Oh, cool. I kind of broke the point of that obstacle, which wasn't even worthwhile because it was easy regardless. Just bounce up there. Dang it, I should have just slide, slid down. That's what I actually tried to do. I tried to land on the hill and slide into it, but I landed like just at the wrong spot. Ha! Okay. That was a puzzle. Okay, I did not do that well. Well, I do not know why I spin jump. That was stupid. Hold the button there. Now, if I don't randomly spin jump for no reason whatsoever, just be careful. Uh, is that enough? Yeah. Just keep going. Well, that was close. I very... Nah, that didn't work at all. I should have jumped outwards, but I was hoping it would... Because the, the cliff was so high, I thought maybe it was designed so that it would just barely not hit you. But that wasn't the case. Alright, Luigi completes another level, but my lives are dwindling a lot faster than they were in the past. Which is alright, we've got life farms. River of the Living Beards. <laughs> okay, this is already a weird level name. Six Corby. Another person who I don't really know of, but I'll know of him at least a little bit after I complete this level. Oh, it's the scrolling level. Okay, that's a roof. I did not read that well at all, but... Whoa. Alright, so now I'm big. That helps out a lot. Um, okay, so I probably want to just do that. Good. Okay, that worked out nicely. You can die too. Handy way to not even have to get my feet wet. Oh yeah, that, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I knew that would be tight, but I figured I could make it. I don't even need the platform for that one. I think it's easier just to bounce on the guy, to be honest. Because it doesn't actually... Because that means you don't have to jump quickly and worry about actually the guy hitting you. If you land on him instead. I'll just swim under these ones. Yeah, that works. And we got the midpoint. So far this is going well. Just jump straight past him. Oh yeah, right. Can't jump on these fish because they're not... Uh, jump out of the water fish. Alright, just motor on through there. Gotta be hasty, after all. And somehow completely missed those two fish. Lots of cool setups in this level. I'm really liking it so far. Uh, dang it. Alright. Alright. 
right. So how do I get up there is the question. Oh, I was, I was supposed to bounce on that guy. Oh, I'm just going to die now because it's not worth continuing with it, the dragon coin. Let's see if I can do this properly this time. Ah, oh, rats. That was very close. There we go, finally. Now let's hope I actually get to keep it. I didn't explore any of the rest of the levels, so I don't know for sure at all, but... Right. You move really slowly when you can't actually jump out of the water. Alright, can't get up there. Got it. Okay. Now I'm gonna hang back at least a little bit so I can see what's coming. Alright, wait a second just to make sure there aren't any dragon coins like right there that I'm going to just waltz past. Uh, <laughs> uh message is kill layer three, so you lose the water. And that fish now has no water. Poor fish. I could have gotten the if I had a bounce on the fish and gotten up to the top of that thing, I could have gotten a chance to get the 50 points, but oh well. I didn't think of it until after I had already completed the level. Alright, so we're back here at jumping time. I'm assuming jumping time is what's going to... Uh, maybe not. But it's hard to tell where else it's going to go, so maybe it leads to the green switch? Anyways, lol Yoshi. Lol Yoshi has made a lot of levels for this game so far, which is fine because lol Yoshi makes good levels. <laughs> Math platforms. And it dies there. So far nothing really gimmicky with these math platforms yet. They're just there. And you have to jump on them. Which kind of fits with the name of the level. Well that didn't work. Alright, let's give myself a little bit more leeway this time, since I know what's coming up. Jump. Let's just start moving forward so that I get as much of a view as possible. And that's easy enough to solve. It doesn't even involve any math platforms. Or, okay. Now we're going to have to do stuff like that just to get the midpoint. Easy peasy. Alright. That, that guy just had to kill him for the sake of killing him. Let's run off with the button held, duck, and wait until the last second so that I get as much advance on the Koopa as possible. Maybe I should have ran off the left. Yeah, I really should have run off the left. I feel like this is still possible to get and survive, but I could also... No, that doesn't work. Oh, that does work! Okay, that was very close. And I also don't know how to get this. But whatever, I probably don't need that. It's only the dragon coins that I have to come back for. Alright, so... We gotta do some of this. Considering it's not Smobex... Oops. Oh, he's not dead, so I'll just respawn him. I forgot that it's not Smobex and... <coughs> I don't need to throw away my items to duck. Three, two, one. Got it. I almost missed the dragon coin. That would have been really embarrassing. It's practically a gimme, and I almost just jumped straight past it trying to get the 50. Not that I got the 50 either, but... Oh, and there's a secret exit in that. When pork puffers fly, I don't even know, want to know what that is in the water. I've only missed one pipe so far haven't seen anything else that would indicate it. Can't really reach that one easily. Yeah, that wasn't a very good attempt, but... Oh, that one might be it. The one up there. Because that one serves no other purpose in this level. Let's do a better job of bouncing on the bolt this time. Yeah, that was it. I pretty much called that. Not that it was difficult to call, but... Alright, let's see how this goes. Munchers now. That's just cruel and unusual. I 
All right, easy enough so far. Wait for that guy to fire rather than being hasty. Back up as much as I can on that platform to give myself a little bit more leeway. Jump when I'm a little distance away from the cannon so I can't just fire in my face. Well, might as well take the hit there rather than having something worse happen. Uh, that was very unelegant, but good enough. Duck, and let's move forward. Okay, there it is. It was way off the 50 there, but at least I took an attempt. <laughs> Life's actually increased a little bit in that level, surprisingly enough. Alright, am I getting to the green switch? It looks like we just went in a completely different direction. Peer pressure. Well, peer pressure isn't the boss of me, so I'm going the other way. Uh, when pork puffers fly, Jabri Sunset and Blue Leaf. I've always associated Jabri Sunset with the, perhaps rightly or wrongly, with the kind of rompy levels, but... After the Bowser <laughs> Petroleum, or PP for short. Oil spill, fish can't swim in the sea anymore, they are forced to fly in the air. <laughs> well, uh, evolution at work. Nice to see it. Um, the odor from all this oil is making Mario feel sick. He can't spin anymore. But it doesn't do the thing that Raukau hates, and instead allows you to actually jump with the spin button. Alright, I'm assuming I can just... Yeah, I can stand there. Okay. Just jump over these things. Okay, these guys are going around in a circle. Just wait till they're at their lowest and go. Easy enough. Let's wait till this guy is going left. Well, don't want to jump too many times on these platforms. And I want my full concentration for when I'm actually going to go for that gray platform there. Otherwise, if I'm not paying attention, I'll go too early and then just walk right off. I'm just gonna skip that one, you know? And I can still fry these guys, so I should have just done that earlier. But what are the odds that there's something in that random yellow pipe? Dang it. I couldn't actually fry him because I was ducking. Oh, where? Yeah, I can't spin jump. That's a problem. Alright, looks like I just want to land on the platform and not jump anywhere, just go. That guy didn't do anything too weird, which is nice. Uh, okay, I did not read that correctly. I was supposed to wake them up and continue bouncing on the chuck. <laughs> but I just kind of panicked and tried to go as far as possible. It wasn't that far off of working, to be fair. Bob. Okay, that isn't actually that tight, which is good. Because I did slip up a little bit. And that was too tight, at least considering I slipped up. Dang it. Oh gosh, I'm trying to actually go over to the fish. I don't think the hit is really that important, but I as well conserve it if I can. I mean, I guess it would have been really important last time. Let's just get over here now. Okay, good. That went a lot better than last time, even though I was big, so it actually made one of those obstacles a lot harder. And the pork puffers are still being janky all the way down there. Good for them. Have fun with your jank. If you can live, do it. Alright, that worked out. Let's not try to go too fast, because I have a feeling this level will drop things on my face, like Borka Puffers. They fall really slowly if you're not jumping up into them rapidly, though, so it's not too bad. Alright, let's just avoid that one, avoid dodge to the right. And get ready for whatever's coming up. Is that a pipe I want to go into? Is it a pipe I can go into? No, it's just there for some reason. Oh well, I'm not gonna question it. Yeah, the lack of a spin jump definitely makes a lot of these setups actually work. 
Because spin jump would totally break them. Yeah, you actually gotta lure this guy over because, uh, you know, I'm just gonna have him continue to park right there. And then go this way. I have just enough time to get beneath them again. And let's continue going up. I'm not gonna wake up the second guy until I'm ready. Okay, there's no. F okay, I gotta lure the fish up the top this time. But thankfully, those things are pretty easy to run on. You don't need a huge running start. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Kind of silent because I was just frantically trying to figure out what I was actually supposed to do there. This entire level feels like something that would be in nachos and fried Oreos in some ways. Of course, minus the dragon coins, which ironically is a little bit weird for this game so far, but... Oh, yeah, just... <laughs> Fall to your knees and they die. <laughs> If only it, it's that easy to fight. Just kneel down and things run into you and biff, they're gone. Not that I really care that much, but... Okay, I guess I'm gonna give in to peer pressure now. I love Yoshi again. Oh no, is Yoshi the peer? <laughs> it's a bathroom, I think. Mario can't keep go himself from going to the bathroom. He needs to do his business every 30 seconds or else he's going to wet his pants. Oh, and there's the timer. Thankfully, this is Luigi. He's got better control over himself, I think. Um, maybe I have to jump over that and go back. But yeah, let's visit the bathroom first. <laughs> Just to be absolutely sure that we're not going to wet our pants. Very important in this day and age. I would lose all social capital if I wet my pants right now, so. I almost don't want to take the time to check for power-ups, and I can spin jump again too, probably get to note, note that down. All right, I'm just gonna wait for that guy to go up and down. Even though I'm on a timer, I feel like it's not going to be a tight timer most of the time, so I'm not going to try and rush things too much. Ugh, is there a bathroom up there? No, but there's a dragon coin. Alright, there's one. Got just enough time. Let's just check these real quick. And then go back to the bathroom. Oh, I hit my head on the ceiling there. Okay. Well, not much I can do with that one. Let's just go to the bathroom again. I feel very well rested after all of this. Um, okay, dragon coin over there. Dragon coins are just enough out of the way to be uncomfortable, really. Oh, shoot. That was... I did not read that correctly. I didn't realize that the saws were going to fly off for some reason, even though it was pretty obvious. A lot of time by handling it quickly this time. That obstacle is really nasty. Actually, you've got to make a really precise jump, and you don't have a lot of time to react. Um, okay, I'm assuming the trick is I'm not supposed to go in there, but, you know, let's try it. <laughs> okay, it just hurts you, it's not instant death. social commentary from my Mario hacks. What does this world come to? Don't go in the women's bathroom. Actually, I wonder if it... Uh, no, it doesn't restore your time. I definitely still was running out of time last time. Also, this power-up I can grab as many times as I want. So that's nice. Probably still have time to make it out of this jam. Not if I go in there. <laughs> There's a trap. Whoa. You know, I'm just gonna not waste that time. Let's try... Third time's the charm. <laughs> Boing. 
Alright, there we go. That was much better. Dang it, I did not handle that properly. Go. Oh, good. Again, the men's bathroom is right next to a power-up, so I can just stock fully back up again. Which makes it a lot easier to just tank hits through everything. Might as well even just get a second fire flower, since it's pretty fast. Fry that guy to save some time. Die. Well, that didn't work properly. Alright, ignore that bathroom. Ah, oh, shoot. <laughs> I knew I was gonna run out of time, but I missed the Koopa and I didn't want to end the level. Well, Mario peed his pants. Or Luigi peed his pants, actually. Wow, great. Okay, that's what you're supposed to do. Crud. That, that's really tight. Like... Alright, <laughs> bouncing on that Koopa actually worked this time. I think I wouldn't have died to doing a simple Koopa bounce there, but, you know, that's how it rolls sometimes. So we've successfully avoided dying, or worse, uh, peeing ourselves, and <laughs> wow, that, that was a cool map change. Like, look at that, <laughs> that's so weird for a smooth map. But I think I'm gonna have to call it here. Did I check who did, made this? Oh yeah, it was Long Yoshi. Alright, see you next time.